Um, now, uh, in the um, uh, various um, um, explanations about the Magdalene uh, laundries and the McAleese Review, um, it's, it's my understanding that right now the um, ombudsman uh, has been designated as an external appeal mechanism for the ex gratia scheme and that the ombudsman is carrying out a general review of procedures used by the Department of Justice in reaching decisions on eligibility. Uh, and this means that um, the women that I asked about uh, and that I, we were told about, uh, women who worked in the Magdalene laundries as children while being registered at the residential schools who were in that other category that was described to me. Um, and so my question is, I mean, it's good that that's being reviewed and that there's a process and um, it's, it makes your point about Ireland and its uh, commitment to these issues uh, uh, even stronger. Uh, but my question takes you one step further. Will the department consider itself bound by the ombudsman's recommendations after uh, that com is completed? I, I understand there's been a longstanding disagreement between the Ombudsman's Office on the one hand and the Department of Justice on the other on the question of whether these women should be eligible for inclusion in both schemes. And I'd be interested in if you have any uh, information at present whether any of the Ombudsman's recommendations to date have been accepted, uh, how many are still being considered, that would be very helpful. Uh, now, um, in the replies you indicated that the government is aware that there was important information in the Galway Diocese uh, and that it, this information was crucial for the identification of Magdalene survivors. So I'm wondering what steps uh, you're taking to ensure that the archives of other dioceses are reviewed for relevant information. I'm wondering whether, if the government did a thorough review of the information in the Galway Diocese or did it only review the one list of names of women uh, that was specifically brought to its attention. And I'm particularly uh, interested in understanding more broadly if access to information is available to other than to the individual concern, because I understood clearly that the individual concern can ask for her own records. Um, uh, one question I asked yesterday that I didn't hear answered was whether the government is considering undertaking additional outreach activities to alert survivors living outside of Ireland of the existence of the redress scheme. I understand that you can't always provide health care and things for them, but the question is what efforts are being made to alert survivors outside uh, of Ireland? 